All right, everybody calm down. The building is not yet on fire. There's still time to tell them that the cash shop is batshit crazy, all right? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another video. This is going to be my closed beta test two impressions of Black Desert Online. The one, the beta, was part of the double beta weekend that happened last weekend. So I finally got to play on the North American servers. Super excited to, and it's sort of the same. Which is a good thing, because I really liked playing on the Japanese servers. Like, I didn't really notice too much. There's little bit things that were a little different. Like, it's so dark at night. Like, it's crazy different dark. Did anyone else, like, it's dark. Anyone else playing on, like, the, the foreign servers notice this? Like, it's really dark. Who are the ten people who said, let's make the nights, they want the nights super dark, and they're like, oh, yeah, we're gonna make the nights super dark. It's dark. It's so dark. So I gotta try out pets, you know, the meow meow beans, and I gotta try out parties. You know, party up with your friends because it's always fun to MMO to play with other people. And then I got to try the Pearl Shop. So let's get the Pearl Shop right out of the way, guys. Let's talk Cash Shop right now. And I know people are tripping out on this. And it's, you know, I want to say for good reason because there's a lot of things that we saw on it that it's very questionable and what the hell is going on with this. And it's kind of like a lot of those people who are coming in from the free-to-play versions of this are coming into the game. And they're seeing the cash shop. It's like the exact same thing or even possibly worse because you get like fishing boats and wagons on it. And you're like, what the, why are all this stuff here? So like maybe that's what a lot of the outrage is coming from. But, you know, let's take a breath, let's calm down, let's talk about, like, what are our issues are this. So, like, for anyone not familiar with what's going on, or they just didn't know that there was a big deal about it, or they, just didn't, they were so busy looking at the expansive, beautiful world of Black Desert Online, they didn't even get a chance to try it out, really. And it's like, the prices are very expensive. Like, they're free-to-play expensive. And this is not a free-to-play game anymore, it's a buy-to-play game. So we're really kind of, we're disappointed that they didn't take time to actually do, like, a legit conversion of, like, what it means for this to be be buy to play in uh, North America and uh, European servers and they're like we're just going to make it the same as free to play and like this shouldn't be that shouldn't be the case we're paying into this game and that that means that the, the the cash shop has to be different it cannot be the same yeah like the fishing like why are fishing boats even on the the pearl shop that's insane like i remember i saw on, on the japanese servers it took me a long time to make a fishing boat i had to like farm materials let the workers do it while i was going to level up and i had to actually go and farm my own logs for like a different material and then get all the workers to make all the stuff and craft a whole bunch of beer for them to do it and it was like this really big deal just to get to the point and then you knew you had to keep you know doing it over it's like okay i got a fishing boat i gotta make sure i still get the materials and get ready to make my next fishing boat this 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 like trek to do it even for like building like a shitty wagon or shabby wagon whatever it was called it took me a long time to do it and like that now you can just like let's throw down 20 bucks and get it. that's ridiculous dude that's insane i hopefully they they listen to us and they take that out because that's ridiculous or you know oh gosh so you guys got to remember what we need to be vocal about it but we got to do it in in like a civilized way that they'll continue to listen to us and hear our feedback and make the changes that we feel is good and convince them that, you know, to them in their best interest is also good. And think of, you know, long term instead of them focusing so much on short term earnings to, you know, think of the long game and how we really want this to be an MMO that we're going to keep coming back to and playing. We just have to let them know that this isn't like they have to realize this too that this isn't a buy to play game. They should stop. They should start acting like it's a buy to play game and start you know ch you know changing the way that they're handling uh, the, the 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 cash shop and stuff like that. Like this isn't the same as their other servers. This has to be different. They should treat us differently, uh, just because they chose to do it this way. And if it was their choice initially to do it, then, you know, follow through and make it look like it was a well thought out, meaningful decision. Because I would hate to see this game go by the wayside. And it's, it's an amazing game. I've been having a ton of fun with it. And it's like you're going to get in there. You're going to get your 50 hours of awesome play. But like if they're going to keep up these practices, who's going to play it past that point? Like, are we going to play it past that point? We're just going to enjoy the process to level cap and then just be like, okay, well, they ruined it for us. Like, we don't want that to happen. So we want to let them know that this is what will keep us around playing longer to make us feel like there's some meaning behind the cash shop prices that, you know, to, to get a good balance of this is of, of like what it is to have a buy to play game and not to have the prices so free to play oriented. So Dam has been listening to feedback, and we want them to hear us with these ones too. So we need to find a way to, you know, let them know without, without like, you know, rage-induced manners into more like a civilized, 
way because we really would like to see these changes. I think mean, me personally, I would like to see these changes because I want to keep coming back to play Black Desert Online. I don't want to have a cash shop make me be like, oh, God, this game, like, what happened to it? Nothing means anything. So that would be, like, something that I think would solve a lot of people's concerns and a lot of people's problems. People are a little too quick to say pay to win so quickly. But I don't know, man. I mean, I want to have pets, and I want pets, I want to have pets, you know, I want to get them easier than just, you know, five bucks a pet and then just never upgrade them because there's just too much of them, of just a money dump. So the new thing I got to try is pets. And pets are amazing. They're so fun. They kind of auto loot every now and then. They're, they, they, if you have a cat, it'll jump on your shoulders if you're standing. Like, they're just so fun. They, it would like if or, if you saw my other impressions of Black Dress Online video, they would be part of the little things. Like there, it's just one of those things that oh man, this needs to be part of the game. But oh my gosh, I feel like I feel like pets need to be rehauled, like revamped. I, I, want, I want pets to be just like a part of the game and not just like this cash shop thing. It just, I don't know if that will ever be the case because they're so fun and there's, there's such an element to the game that feels like it needs to be part of the game and not just this ad in addition thing, more like a, a necessary part or like something that just should be in the game. So another thing I got to experience with Black Desert Online that I haven't got to before because I was playing on the Japanese servers and obviously I don't speak Japanese and I don't read Japanese either. And anytime I would message someone in the game, I'd be like, hey, yo, and they see a bunch of Japanese characters. I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over there and uh, go fit, go go AFK fishing and just go cry in a corner because I, <laughs> I don't know how to talk to anybody on the server. So I got to play with one of my friends, and we didn't. We had to use out of game voice chat because I don't think there is one in the game, which would be nice to see in addition to that, make it a little easier. Uh, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. It added a whole new level uh, of fun to the game and enhanced the experience. Versus like sometimes you know sometimes you'll have like you know it'll just like take you out or break the mirror you won't feel immersed but it really kind of like enhanced the immersion of the game when you play in a group and I think a lot of it has to do with no fast travel if that makes it really like oh you want to meet me here you gotta meet me here and say like one of your party members falls off a cliff for some reason uh, you gotta go you like okay let's meet up in this town and you gotta wait for them to find a way to run around the mountain just to come back and meet you and then you'll just be like AFK fishing while you're waiting for them or something like that. Uh, it's just really fun. It, it brings us another level to like emerge into you. You're, you're like trekking this world together, and it's it's really fun. I, I thought it really made it a much more enjoyable experience, and so that was really cool. I was really happy to like you know you know pleasantly surprised that you know playing with more people obviously on MMO, you're playing with more people, it's more fun. Uh, that it was really like it made it a lot more fun, and tagging mobs was a lot easier, and questing was really fun and enjoyable. So then I, so I also played a couple more classes that I didn't really play that much on Japanese servers. I tried Valkyrie, Warrior, and uh, Wizard. And uh, Valkyrie, this is... Uh, just playing these classes made me really disappointed with the male options. I know people are saying, oh, it's just oh, I'll get over it. But, like, honestly, there isn't... Like, the one class, Warrior. Like, Warrior. I really want to play Warrior because it's your standard male character. Now, that's something that, that I would like to have part of my one of my alts. And after playing Valkyrie, I'm like, oh man, I might not have any male characters at all. Because Valkyrie has this really awesome Captain America shield throw, and it's amazing. I felt like I was Captain America at one point, except, you know, the female version would be that. Who is the female version? I don't know. Who are my Marvel comic guys? So I was playing Warrior. I was trying to find skills that that made me feel the same way as I was playing Valkyrie. And I couldn't find any. Like, he doesn't throw his shield around. He has a lot more, like shield raised mechanics and it looks very earthy the way that he was using his attacks like he's hitting the ground and the ground like erupts and it's very brown and red in terms of like the animations while the valkyrie has more of that paladin aesthetic was like light like white and blue along with like the weapon slashes and i wish that they were switched i wish so much they were switched so we can have like that male like paladin uh, archetype that i always love playing that type of class like you know the mix between like warrior and uh and wizard where it's like the paladin where you have you have you know your sword you have your shield you can have like another like a staff or something but you're heavy armored you're like a battle mage and kind of like that kind of class and i really wish that was the case for warrior but you know it's, it, that's where it is on valkyrie so i'm like dude there's no male great male counterparts which i'm still really bummed at it's just this little thing that just like it kind of nags at me a lot in this game so yeah, if there are any warrior players out there, please let me know. Like, does warrior get better? Like, is it more fun? I know there's this great sword thing that comes like way later down the line. So that really makes him like, if I ever want to get to that point, I have to really make him like a super alt where I have like the like super good gear so I can quickly get him to like max level. 
But I never like doing that. I never like rushing to max. I like the adventure of getting there. So let me know, like, does Warrior get better? Is Warrior not as underwhelming as I feel it is? Especially in the early levels, Valkyrie just feels so much better than a Warrior does. Like, does that stay to remain the case? Does he get better? Are the skills I should have been using? Because I really want to make, I really want the Warrior to be one of my characters. Like, I already know I'm going to have, you know, Source and Ranger on my first two for sure. I really like those classes. But I really want third one, or even possibly move him second, is Warrior. But right now I'm thinking this is going to be like Source, Ranger, and then Valkyrie at this point. And I really want not to have it that case. The beard options are so fun in this game and they're so hard to find any place that actually does beards right and whether they do it right or not it's just fun because you have that layer of like underneath the beard and then you can add like a beard layer it's just so much fun and i don't have any characters to do it on unless you want to be like an old dude i want it to be warrior and i don't want to be a hunchback huge giant dude like oh it's just, man like should you pre-order this game uh i didn't want like this for division it's like one of the takeaways from betas, this is what they want you to do. They want you to pre-order. It's one of the things that they just want. It's it's one of the points of having them this close to the release date. Uh, Black Desert Online, at least they did it very much as a stress test because, yes, it does stress the servers for quite a bit. I pre-ordered it. I got the second tier. Uh, I know because it's 50 bucks. It's less than 60, which is now like the default. I don't know why that's even a default for PC games anymore. I missed the whole like, you know, 49999 is the default. I already got that much time already on the Japanese servers, so I'm really excited to get that time in uh, the North American servers to get the same amount of time in. If you haven't pre-ordered the game yet, the first tier is only 30 bucks, and that's fine. You get some things in it, and uh, I think it'll be a, it'll be fun to get it just in case you were interested in the game. You'll get 30 bucks worth of time play out of it for sure, unless you didn't really like it or didn't like the beta or uh, you're looking at the game and you're sort of interested but not really. But if you're looking at it and you're like, oh man, I'm really interested in this game. Like when I first saw it, I was like, wow, I'm really interested in this game. And then I played it and I'm like on the, the foreign servers, I'm like, okay, this is a really cool game. So like you'll most likely like it. You'll get some time out of it. You'll play through it quite a bit. And you'll play 30 bucks worth of it before getting to the problems that we're seeing right now that we are hoping to be fixed. You won't even get to those problems yet because you'll get so much time ready out of the game. 30 bucks isn't too much for a game like this at all. And uh, I feel like you'll you'll get enough time out of it for that price. But the pre-order ends the 26th. And if you're still on the fence, you know, don't worry about it. I mean, you're you're saving yourself, you know, heartache if you don't pre-order. Uh, you're cuz like if you pre-order it and you end up not liking it, you're like, "Oh man, I feel so bad that I had to do that." But if you but if you do pre-order and you like it, well, you're going to be really happy. And if you don't pre-order and you buy it after the fact, you might be a little sad, but you still be, you know, you'll be the savvy buyer and you know buy something that you actually like because there is a head start, so you can keep an eye out for that and you'll see what people are saying of it early and then I'll help you make your decision later on. You won't get a lot of the bonuses, I don't think, but at least you'll, you know, get an idea about the game and then you'll be able to still play it at launch. Yeah, so like not a whole lot of things to say that is that I haven't said already on my Black Desert Online impressions video. I'll put a link in the description below for that if you haven't seen it yet. It's mainly based off of my Japanese server experience experiences. So it's going to get kind of outdated at a certain point. Hopefully I'll be able to do my North American version of it once the game comes out and say, hey, how do I think of the English version? Like what, what's different? What's great? What's not great? Do I still like all the things that I liked on the Japanese servers that I do like now? That'll be kind of a fun video to do. I'm really excited about this game. All right. I can't lie. I am very hyped. I fall in victim to the hype train and I am hyped. i Put my 50 bucks i know i'm gonna get my 50 bucks out of it because i just enjoy there's some aspects of this game that i really enjoy that they can't ruin so hopefully i can get you know more than my 50 bucks worth out of it and those aspects i'm not sure what they're gonna do with it so i'm really hoping this will be my next mmo that will fill the hole that guild wars 2 left behind which filled the hole that lord of the rings online left behind so what do you guys think of the beta did you enjoy it how far did you get did you play it all weekend i didn't really get to play too much of it I just played a little bit with my friend and then played some division and then i came back to it later and just afk'd in town just wandered around the towns messing around with the the pearl store and watching people you know do random stuff and looking at the channel chat so yeah so leave a comment below let me know what your concerns are if you agree with me if you don't agree with me what your opinions about that are like the video dislike the video subscribe if you feel like it i'll probably do a little bit more black desert online videos and maybe i'll do even division videos i don't know what i'm going to be doing but it's going to be game related because i love talking about games i love playing games 
and it's it's fun. See you at launch. Uh, I'm not sure what server I'll be playing on, but it'll definitely be in the, one of the North American servers. I'll be sure to post that somewhere uh, to let you guys know where I'm going to be. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I'm, I'm ready to have a lot of fun in this game, guys. All right, guys. So until next time, I'll see you later. Dun, 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 dun,